cast into the realm of Gondor. Minas Tirith, City of Kings. I hope you guys enjoyed that pro editing job. I think Peter Jackson would be very pleased. Welcome back to George's Gadgets, everyone. I'm George, and today I'm gonna to start a new segment where I browse the internet looking for cool things to print and show you. All right, so the print today, obviously, as you saw in the intro, is Minas Tirith, City of Kings. And this was created by Clavin Moon or Clavin Moon. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'll link the page down below. It's a super easy print and it doesn't use that much filament because as you can see, it is hollow inside. It took, I think maybe 10 hours on my Prusa Mark III and I printed it in 3D Mars white. And I actually got that on sale and you get a little bit more than the normal roll of filament. I think normal rolls are like two kilograms and this one was 2.2. So you get a tad bit extra, which is kind of cool. When he made this, he got the original scan file from sketchfab.com and they used a program called 3D Igify. I've never used that myself, but if you guys have, please let me know if it's a cool thing to try out and maybe I'll do a video on that if that's what you're interested in. What really caught my eye about this is I love lights. I love lamps. Do you really love the lamp or are you just saying it because you saw it? There's some that I've made and designed, but um, as you can see, I like light. And when I was scrolling through Thingiverse, I saw this one and it was actually lit up. Clavin Moon has also designed a nice stand to go with this. And if you get the correct light that he links, you can have the cord run off and then you can plug this into the wall. I tried to use one of the ones I have and it didn't quite work out. So what I'm using are these little LED lights. He used a CR10 to print this out, and so mine's probably a little bit smaller than his. But I followed the settings that he recommended. So the settings are uh, 0.2 resolution and 10% infill. And this is, this is how it came out, just like that using those settings. And I think it came out really good. The filament's great, you can set it to the Prusa filament and not have to worry about changing any settings for the 3D Mars. I've had really good results using that filament and printing with the stock Prusa settings. I, I think it's really cool. Honestly, this really makes me think of, um, and I don't know if anyone else, if anyone else is as old as me, but I used to play with my brother Matt, uh, we used to play Warcraft 3 um, and not Minas Tirith, but Helm's Deep Defense that was like a mod within Warcraft 3 and you would have to defend against like the orcs and you would have an enemy team who had heroes and uh, I just remember that Legolas was super overpowered and anytime you got in the game you wanted to try and get that character. What? Yeah, I am, I am a nerd. I am a nerd! <laughs> you married a nerd. I grew up loving Lord of the Rings and just being in love with that world. Uh, orcs and wizards and uh, this is just something that's very nostalgic to me and I think it came out really good and it's gonna be sitting up on my shelf uh, from here on out. I'll make, I'll make room for it, I'll have to clear out some stuff. I just wanted to share this with you guys, say what's up, I haven't fallen off the face of the earth. Work got crazy for a little bit and I'm sorry that I, I didn't put out a video in a while. I have more to come and if you like me just showing off some of the prints that I have, let me know and I'll keep doing these because I had a lot of fun just printing something out just to see what it looked like and then sharing it with you guys. If you make one, I'd really like to see it, so if you could tag me on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, all of my social media links are at the end of this video. Uh, Twitter is the one that I probably check most often, and that's at George's underscore gadgets. Shoot me a tweet, let me know what you guys are making. I love hearing from you. We'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, share this with your friends. Yeah, I'll see you around.